Right now, getting jiggy with thelaughingbureau.com. Get jiggy with it. I mean, kind of going back to what you, you you briefly touched on the skit that you put together with uh, your, you know, your unit, as I'll call it now. Um, that skit just recently dropped with ADD, which is uh, Russell Simmons' new network of comedy and poetry and whatnot. Um, but kind of something that we briefly um, talked about in the past. It seems like you're getting a little heat, a little slack about it because of the character, um, which is Quee Quee. Right. Or like, you know, oh, it's another black man in a dress. Now, the funny thing is, me and you talked about this before, but now experiencing it, what we talked about, like, what's your reaction to it as you see people online attacking your character that you've been developing over the years? You know, it's crazy because, you know, and I've, I kind of said this in the Instagram post is that, you know, y'all let these people hack me for the last two years. And you didn't know who I was. You thought they was just doing something dope and original and all this other stuff. And then once the person who decided to do the stuff that really does it on stage and been doing it for the last six, seven years, now I'm getting all this flack now that I got an opportunity to make my characters come to life. And I just think that's a bunch of BS with the whole black man wear a dress thing, you know. I think, and then this is what I hate about people who don't have their own mind. You know, Chappelle said something, and all of them, Chappelle said, I mean, everybody got their own opinion, man. And don't get me wrong, I don't think that's all the way wrong, but I don't think just because you can talk deep and you kind of smart that you know everything. I just don't believe that. Because I look at Eddie Murphy, I look at Martin Lawrence, it ain't, those are character comics. If you're not a character comic and you decide to put on a dress, it looks weird. What's happened is people have put all of us in the same category, not understanding this different type of comic. This is something I wanted to do before I even knew about all this conspiracy theory crap. When I was watching A Living Color, when I was watching Answer Now, I'm talking about Mike Myers playing basically, you know, the lady who grew up where he grew up at. You know what I mean? Nobody looked at that. Oh, he's Nobody looked at it like that. And now it's all we're doing all this stereotypical stuff. Let me tell you something. Every time, every bit I do on stage, it's extremely based off what I saw. You know, I was looking at some of the comments from the Prime video. This is the typical. This is the trash. Man, if you Google Prime Sendbells on YouTube, or, or I mean, just type it on search, I mean, watch how all the videos look like what I just shot. And they real. You know, it's always black people complaining about how black people look at stuff that don't even be around real black people. Oh, you're doing some shut your goofy ass up. You don't know nothing. You won't even step your foot in the hood to speak to a kid. So who is you to say something? I'm only talking about doing. I'm doing what I see that's real, and I'm doing stuff I see on stage. Is there a goal you know what I mean? to like bring out more characters that you got? Because I think that's where maybe some of that pressure comes. Where it's like, okay, then do your other characters. Then you know. No, I, and guess what? I will. You know, I. I'm going to say this. I don't want to be put in a box. Because this is the crazy thing about, I think, in a way, Hollywood and just industry execs. You know, everybody thinks, and let's just be real, a ghetto, a ghetto girl that's funny. Right? One of the things I try to do with Kui Kui is create a real... One thing I loved about Sinead, I loved about Wanda, and I loved about Geraldine, is that they had like real, a realness to them. Mama Clump, you know what I mean? It was, it was a realness to them. It didn't feel like some guy just dressed. It was a realness to it. And if you watch my sketch, you get the realness of it. If you didn't know who I was or if I was a guy, you just thought it was an ugly chick. Yeah, I read some of the comments and people were saying, was that a girl or a dude? They don't know. They were, like, confused. That's how you know who watching it and picking too deep into it. If you just watched it and, hey, this could be a good laugh, instead of trying to figure out the whole, um, is this going to be one of those black men in the dress and then he's trying to make it and this is going to help him get weight? Man, please, with all that. Because this ain't got me. This ain't getting me on. Right. I'm doing what I wanted to do. No, it, it, but it ain't. And that's why I can't wait to do all this other stuff. You know, I, you know, I can't help it that I've done pilots and stuff that never came out. 
where I did all these different characters. So I'm taking these opportunities now to bring out all my stuff. So bringing and up, it's a bringing up Quigley was just to kind of your intention was to kind of kind of because I've heard you mention it before where you felt that other people were doing this character and they weren't yeah. necessarily perfecting it. So you felt as an originator, well, let me come out with it. Let me do it right. Was that the yeah, intention? Like, what made you go with Queen's yeah, character? First? Yeah, very much so. It was that was extremely the intention. It was to put her in real situations to make her character real and to show that I'm really this is really the my character. And that's why I wanted to get it over with too. I want to get it over with. I'm getting Queen Queen over with, basically. Okay. That's why I'm telling people. Here you go. Here your Queen Queens. Should be the doubles. Moving on. What about when you see like, you know, which is crazy, but he he's he's different I think in style, but it's similar with the Tyler Perry. And I remember he was getting slapped for it, and then he announced, you know, okay, I'm done with the doing the Tyler Perry, I mean the Medea character. And then again we see him again doing Medea. I think he got a Christmas one coming out or some shit. Like, do you see yourself like ever returning with it? Is it done forever, Quickly, or is it just like I'm gonna let it rest? No, this is what it's going to have to be. I don't mind doing it, but it's going to have to be a TV show, a television show or a web series where I'm doing all my different characters and not just focused on one. So, you know, if I get a show that's like a, a little rare show, like in Living Color or something like that, or, uh, you know, uh, you know, this next Legion of Goons project or whatever, where I can play all my characters, and that's different. You know, I get a sitcom and I can play all the different characters to a movie. I want to... That's what I really ultimately want to do. And, you know, I think that's one of the things I'm trying to figure out because I have so many of them and so many stories. What box is that? What, I got to figure out what format is best for the little real world to come out in. You know, so um, at the end of the day, I'm just having fun playing characters. And, you know, I think everybody's overthinking everything, and that's why a lot of this black comedy out here, urban comedy, ain't funny. Cause it's all overthought. That's why the stuff don't last. You know, Real Husbands is doing well because it's funny. It's silly. It ain't being overthought. Everything, we always gotta overthink all our stuff. You know what I mean? Adam Sandler go play a whole movie as his twin sister. Ain't nobody said nothing. So you think it's more of a, a race thing it comes down to? Yeah, man, and, and it's always black people against black people. What happens is a white person implements that and confuses a black guy to think a certain thing, and we run with it and attack each other. That's how it always works. Right. We let somebody outside of us say, oh, what are you? Like, hey, man, I think it's something. Like, you know, well, you know, so you're right, Bob. Hey, other black people, this is not, man, shut up. We have to stop overthinking what, what comedy is. Everything ain't so damn deep. You know what I mean? I'm doing well because not that. I ain't brought no Illuminati. I look at my life. God is awesome. I don't, I'm a comic that say I love God all the time, even when I got other comic friends who don't, you know, who I always got something smart to say about me actually believing in Jesus. <laughs> I got favor on my life. I've been through a whole lot in my life. God is amazing. That's how I get all this stuff. And that's why even with learning with all this stuff, criticism. You can criticize all you want. You can't stop what God's going to bless me with. Point blank. Mm. 